Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers with me. This is Dan from Questline Hero. And the first thing I want to do is talk about a little bit of an update. So we're now 11 episodes in, or this is now the 11th episode, uh, at least on YouTube. On Twitch, there's been a, a few more because we do some of the more mundane, boring things on Twitch, uh, just streaming some of our building sessions and gathering sessions, and uh, I've done a couple exploration sessions and whatnot. But on our YouTube main series, uh, which is, I think, where most people are going to be watching, this is going to be episode 11. <clears throat> and if you've been watching a few of these, you might have noticed that I have been struggle-bearing a little bit with some of the mods that I've put in this. Uh, in particular, I've been struggling with the tiered systems mod because the tiered system mod gives you tiers of components like the assembler and stuff like that. Uh, I can show you, oops, I'll show you more here. Let me get down. Uh, it gives us all these wonderful tiered things. So we have Tiers for assemblers, tiers for thrusters, tiers for hydrogen tanks, uh, tiers for refineries. All of this fun, awesome stuff. And we still have more progression to do. So I actually did a live stream the other day where we took care of some of the progression. Um, so we basically went from tier zero, which, you know, was nothing. We, we just started with, you know, the regular vanilla stuff. Um, and we basically teared up. We built the assemblers, we built the components, uh, and then we built some of the other things that were necessary uh, for the next tiers. Uh, and we teared up all the way to five. Um, I think I, I went all the way to four on stream, and then the next day I, I uh, was playing, um, and I just went out and got, I think I was missing some gold, and I think some platinum, stuff like that. So I just went out by hand and I just grabbed uh, some of the materials that I needed. I only needed like two more uh, little backpack fulls. Uh, and then we made it up to tech tier five. So now I have over here, I've got one tier five uh, assembler down there and I've got three tier five speed modules. Um, so this assembler is super, super fast. Now, I don't know exactly what the tiers do if they help with efficiency or if they suck more power. I, I don't actually know that stuff. I haven't really cared to look into it. I'm sure uh, people know, but um, these are really fast. I, I can tell because I was making steel plates earlier uh, and they are, it was really, really fast. You can see we've run out of iron even. Um, so, so that's where we're at is we we have been struggling um so one of the things i decided to do was tech up now you'll see there's a giant piston arm going off here and doing something as well what is that well this is a giant printer it is pretty big and as you see as you can see i've got it set up for something what could it be what have I got set up? Well, uh, if you've been watching some of my streams or you've been paying attention at all, you'll know that I have this here. Uh, build vision, where's my... Did I not install? Maybe I didn't install it. I thought I installed the other one too. Uh, anyway, I can go into here. I can go into my control panel. And I can go into the projector. Actually, I think there's one on there, but anyway. And I can turn it on. When I turn it on, you'll see a ship appeareth. Well, a ghost of a ship appeareth. And I have set that up, <coughs> excuse me, to start basically right at the end of this printer. And this printer is basically designed to build a ship exactly this large. When I fold down all of these, or when I retract all of these pistons, they come to pretty much right about here um i hope i think so yeah they, they come to right about here i think i tested this before uh and they come right to about here the the ends of the uh um the ends of the welders anyway come to around here now i may have to weld a little bit of this armor by hand but it should get all the way up to these uh, rocket launchers and stuff and i think we're actually going to be changing some of the things on this ship um so i'm not worried about about if every little thing on the outside 
doesn't get uh, doesn't get set up. Sorry, I had to cough. I didn't want to do it in your face. Uh, so this printer is set up to build this ship. Now this is, uh, I think, going to be my favorite ship. I have been testing out a bunch of like big capital type ships, um, and this is an awesome ship. I really, really like it. It's um, really well made. Uh, it's got good LCDs. It's got like some automatic LCD scripts going on that show you everything that's in the ship. Um, it's going to be our base for the foreseeable future. And we're going to arm it a little bit better than what it has now. It does have fairly decent armaments. It's got a couple of, you can see, missile turrets here. And it's got some Gatling turrets on the top. Um, but we're actually going to beef this up a little bit. We're probably going to take out these, uh, these here, uh, these collectors and these parachute hatches. And we're going to put in a big turret right here, probably, probably something from the um, OKI bundle. Um, and maybe some more turrets and we're just gonna sort of scatter it and the reason we're doing that is because the turrets Are kind of required to fight the insane pirates that we're going to be facing uh, If you've watched any of these videos, you know that there are some pretty harsh pirates in this land. So We've got to print that ship. That's our next thing that we're gonna do um, I had toyed with the idea of making a smaller mining ship and trying to make that work um, And I didn't care uh, this was this is my small mining ship. I made before um, I actually lost one and then I printed a new one. I have a tiny small printer over here for small grid ships that I had made first. Um, and you can see here I've got the little small rotor set up for small grid ships. So I can print a small grid ship here, which is what I did for this. I printed this up. I went and got a little bit of extra uranium uh, so I could build the rail guns and a little bit of ammo and stuff like that. So this ship is ready to go. It's ready to go and get some resources if we need it. Um, and then you'll also notice that there's a bubble around this ship. What could that be? Well, this is a shield. Shields? We never had shields before. Well, we do now. Um, I was reading up on this mod, this tiered mod, and I was talking to some people who have used it before. Uh, and I was reading a couple forum posts from people, and a lot of people recommend having some better weapons and some shields uh, when you're playing in this universe because, quite frankly, the enemies hit really, really hard and they're fast and they've got cloaking and all sorts of different things that make it very difficult to kill them. And so there was, you know, shields and better weapons were the, uh, the remedy of choice for most people. So that's what we've, what we've done. We've added these shields and I've actually added the OKI weapons bundle as well. So we should be able to get, um, uh, where is it? Yeah, okay, I am industries. Uh, we need to progress through it, but um, the, this is where it starts is these small grid and then the large grid designator. Um, so anyway, we haven't built any of those yet, so that's why we don't have any of the progression on. Um, but that's where we're at. We're, we're upgraded, so we added some more mods. Um, we added the, the shields, we added these printers, and I think at this point we're ready to start making sure that we have enough resources to build everything that we want. Now, what do we want? Well, we have a list of things that we need. I'm going to jump out of the game here really quick and grab my list, uh, because it's important. Um, so these are the components that we need. I need 92,000 steel plate. Let's check our steel plates. Well, if we go into here and we go to steel plate, you'll see we have here uh, we're 98,000 steel plate, and I just made about 40 of those just now while I was waiting. Um, so those are done. The next thing we need is 30,000 construction components. Well, we've got 4,000. Let's see if we can get some more. 4,000 there, we've got 10,000 now. This is that container. Got another 18 there, that's pretty good. We're pretty much there, we need a bit more. So I said we needed uh, 30,000 of these, so we only need 
2,000. So I'm going to make 5,000 just because. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, and let's let those go. Now we're out of iron, unfortunately. Um, so I can't get that right. I can't get those going right now. But this is what we're setting up for is we want this uh, production setup to just go um, once we get all the re resources. Um, the next thing we need is 14,000 interior plates. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my inventory. Oops. I'm going to spell it correctly. Interior plates. Okay, so we've got 765 there. We should have... I'm going to put it in... What's that? 409. And that's 408. All of my... All of my large cargo containers are fairly full. Okay, so we don't have many of these. I think we used a lot of them when we were building our printer. <laughs> we used a lot of stuff when we were building that printer. It was pretty big, as you can well imagine. Uh, so we need 14,000 of these. We've got 1,000. So we're going to make 14,000 just straight up because, uh, because we probably need an extra 1,000 just to make some stuff anyway. Uh, so we'll go 14,000 of those. The next one we need is girders. We need 600 girders, so we'll probably want to have, you know, a thousand girders. Uh, so let's see how many girders we have. We got 300 there, 35 there. Let's put, no, let's put these into here. And, ah, there we go, 900 there. So we've got 1,260, that's more than what we need. That's great. We need some solar panels. We need 128 uh, solar panels or solar cells. Uh, so we've got, yeah, we've got 364. We're totally good on that one. Next thing we need is 422 displays. Well, I can already see we've got 113 here. And we've got 165. So we need, uh, let's see if we need any more displays. 50 here. So we've got 328. We need 422. So let's make a couple hundred of these anyway. Oops, not 4,000. 400 of these. Next thing we need is uh, around 7,200 motors. Uh, so what we're going to do is check our motors. Uh, now we've also got the tier 3 motors and some tier 2 motors and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to worry about those for now. Um, I'm going to find a large cargo container that has a bunch of them. So there's 7,200 right there. That's This is more than enough right there. Um, and we've got 520 in this one here as well. So we're, we've got enough motors. We won't have much spare, but we've got enough. We also need 5,311 computers. So I've got 1,000 here. I've got 119 here. 260 here. We need... Um, we need 5,300, so let's look and see if we've got any more computers anywhere. Oh, yeah, I can see here we've got 5,000 computers here. Uh, so we've got enough computers there. Uh, then we need small steel tubes. We need about 10,000 of those. Uh, so let's look at small steel tubes. Yeah, we've got a bunch here. We've got 1,400 there. We need 10,000, so that's quite a bit. Yeah, only 217 there, so that's not enough. Oh, there we go. There's 10 th or 8,000 there. Can't even fit them all. Let's see. Oh, there's a large container here. That is perfect. So we've got 9,800 of those, uh, which should be enough. But you know what? We're going to put an extra 1,000 of those in um, just because it's we're going to need some extra anyway. Large steel tubes. We're going to need 2,900 of those, say 3,000 of those. Uh, so let's find out how many of these we have. We've got, yes, we've got 5,000 right here. So that's more than enough. We only need 3,000. Uh, bulletproof glass, we need 2,200 roughly. Uh, so we've got 1,700 there. Let's see. 1,700 here. Almost. Yeah, we've got 1,800 here. Uh, oh yeah, 3,300 here. So we're we're more than enough. We got more than enough of the bulletproof glass. Uh, this will be a tough one. The uh, metal grids. We need 6,000 metal grids. Uh, let's see if we can put them in this one here. Oh, now this one's full. All my containers are full. That's such a bummer. 
Um, metal grids. Uh, we need, remember, 6,000 of these. So maybe we can move these here. 973. No. Can't move them all, unfortunately. Oh, large cargo container 3. There we go. We can move all of them into there. Because this one is empty. <laughs> and yes, we need more of these. So we've got 1,000. We need 6,000. So we need to produce 5,000 more. That's a lot. That's a lot of metal grids. That's a lot of metal grids. Okay, we need around, I think, 2,000 battery. Uh, this is hard because I, I, I figured this out by disassembling everything, by just grinding everything down. But, of course, when you grind down batteries, you don't get the uh, you don't get the battery, the power cells from it. Um, but I figure we need around 2,000, 3,000 batteries, uh, or power cells anyway. Uh, so look, let's find the power cells we have. And... Let's just look at the industrial cargo container because we have some space here. Oh, we've got 2,000 batteries there, or power cells. I shouldn't say batteries, I should say power cells. Uh, we've got, well, seven. That's not much help. And oh, that's the 2,100 we already have. Okay, so we've got 2,100. I think that should be enough. Uh, we're going to put an extra 1,000 in because we're going to need some anyway. Um, and this gives us a, a bit of a buffer because, like I said, I don't know exactly how many we need. Um, we need 9,680 thruster components. This is going to be one of the tougher ones. So we need 10,000 thruster components. Um, thruster. Oops. Thruster components. Okay, let's go back here. We don't have any in here, so let's drag these over. Thruster components. 722. Okay. <laughs> And we need more than this, guys. We need more than this. Okay, so we're at 1563. Good lord. So we need 10,000. Uh, so we're going to need 9,500 anyway. I'm I'm just going to make another uh, 10,000 of these. Because uh, maybe 9,000 of these. Uh, because that's what we need. That's a lot. That's 1,200 platinum ingots. Uh, that's quite a bit of platinum. Now we do have these rare thruster components here. We could disassemble these. We also have tier 5, but it's not going to get us much because these are only, there's 36 of these and 78 of those. So we're nowhere, we're nowhere near as much as we need to get. Okay, next thing we need is gravity, uh, gravity components. We need 100 of those. Uh, so let's check. I don't want gravel. I want gravity components or I forget what they're called, gravity something or others these guys gravity yeah gravity components uh, we need about a hundred of those we don't have any of those yeah we only have these ones so we'll go in here and we'll make uh, about a hundred of those yeah, gravity components there these require cobalt silver and gold oh I'm dying yeah, I should not die. Oh, please don't die. <clears throat> I could do this from the cockpit of the ship, I guess. It is, after all, possible. Okay, uh, next thing we need is semi uh, conductors, superconductors. We need 4,200 of those. Those superconductors. Ooh. <laughs> That's going to be not very good. So we only have 308 of these. Uh, and we need 4,100. So I'm going to put 4,000 in the queue. Uh, that'll give us a good number. We need 130 uh, detector components. Uh, let's see if we have any detector components. Yeah, we've got 300 of those already, so we're set. 36 medical components. Uh, I know we brought some medical components and some silver with us but we only have one so that's fine we're gonna get that later all we need is the silver 36 medical components uh, so we'll just put 40 in because why not 40 medical components I think that's just where we have one I forget if this is like I think we need these for the uh, cryo tubes too don't we I don't know anyway and last but not least is radio components. We need 142 radio components. Uh, so we've got... Uh, yeah, we've got enough here. We've got 235 of those. So, 
this is what we need in the production tab <clears throat> this is what we need in order to create this we're going to need 176,000 iron we've got the silicon we need we need another 8,000 or so nickel, a little over 8,000 nickel. We need 42,000 cobalt, roughly 41,000 and change cobalt. Uh, and we need gold, platinum, and silver in relatively small, but still not insignificant amounts. The biggest one there is gold, obviously, which we're going to have to get um, a lot of. Um, and we're going to get all those things. But the other thing I forgot to mention, or I, I neglected to mention until now because I wanted to wait, uh, was that I did some more scouting. So I took my basic tools, basically. I, I took the level one tools. I dropped everything else off out of my inventory. Uh, and I went flying at asteroids. I would turn my dampeners off and I would just go flying at asteroids to try and figure out what was on them. And I found something kind of odd. I want to show you what I found. It's going to take us a couple minutes to get here, so I'm going to edit this out while I'm flying, uh, and I'm going to come back to you when we get there. All right, guys. We are almost there. Wait till you see this. Now, I don't know if this is a glitch. <laughs> I don't know if this is some sort of very strange uh, generation. Uh, so, to be perfectly honest, I don't know what's wrong with this asteroid. But, if we come into it, we start to see... There's quite a few resources here. <laughs> Gold, uranium, cobalt, nickel, platinum, iron, silicon, everything. Magnesium is over here. Like anything we want. It's on this rock. Uh, <clears throat> so, I don't know. This is kind of insane. Um... I don't really know why this is here, uh, but we found it. It generated. I was at one of the nearby rocks checking them out. <coughs> Excuse me. Came over here, and I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. This is all uranium here. Look at this. Is this all uranium or is this platinum? This is uranium, I think. Uh, anyway, um, so quite the find. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to think about this. Really, it, it's got everything we need. Um, so this is where I'm gonna get any resources that we're missing, and I'm gonna bring my ship over here, and I'm gonna fly it back and forth a few times. Um, but this is where I'm gonna get those resources from that we require to build our big ship. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some now actually since I know I'm gonna need like say platinum I can fill my inventory now with platinum cuz why not why wouldn't you I know we're gonna need lots of platinum <clears throat> so I'm gonna take a bunch of platinum Hopefully I'm grabbing all those pieces, am I? I've got auto inventory on, or auto, auto grab, so I should be grabbing all that stuff. But yes, this is, uh, I don't know, 1,200 hours of space engineers, and I've never seen anything like this. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a mod that I've added that somehow made this happen? I don't know. Uh, if anyone's seen this before and knows the mod, please tell me, because I love it. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is really cool. Uh, if not, maybe this is just a glitch. I mean, I know that asteroids don't usually look like this, but uh, I'm going to take it as a sign from, I don't know, Yeetzis, that this is what I need. I'm going to take it, because I like it. And now we're going to head back to the home hole 
Uh, and I'm going to go process a little bit of this uh, platinum. Nine and a half thousand platinum. I need to build... Um, I actually took down, but I shouldn't have. I need to build a uh, tier 5 refinery with some tier 5 yield modules in it. I think they give you even more. So I need to check that out, but... Um, yeah, I'm going to check that out. So I'm going to fly back to the base and I'll see you when I get back there again. I'm suddenly and violently reminded that I need to install the speed mod. The uh, unlimited speed mod that would make flying back and forth from such things a lot more palatable, shall we say? Since this sucks. Oops. Wow, I came really close to bashing myself there. That wasn't ideal. Okay. We've got some platinum. We're going to go... Uh, I actually don't want to dump it into the refinery yet because none of the refineries... Uh, have yield modules on them. I actually had one here that I had set up and I decided I didn't want to use it anymore. Uh, and that was probably a mistake. Uh, what I could do is disconnect this and use this cargo container, but I think this cargo container is actually full. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put down a... Uh, that's a medium. Down. I need a small cargo container, so please give me the stuff. Oh, I don't, I can't, I can't put one down because I'm full of platinum. Okay, put the platinum down first. Give me stuff for a small cargo container. I'll put that there. <clears throat> that will go up. Then I can put all this stuff in here. Then this has got the platinum. Okay, easy, easy peasy lemon breezy for breezy. Okay. Now I want to build a refinery, but I don't want to build a regular refinery. I want to build a tier 5 refinery. Can I do this? I think I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this hooked up right here. Oops. I guess I need it facing this way anyway, right? I'm going to get this hooked up right here, and I can get some of the components for it. I think I need the metal plates, though. Some of these components don't come out when you do that, which is annoying, but it happens. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of metal plates. So let's see. This is what I need. And I can't really... Oh, I can't produce any of it because I've got... What, what can I produce here? This is what I'm missing. Iron and nickel. A little bit of platinum. And a little bit of gold. Okay, we can get these. Alright, so here's where we're at. This is what we're going to try and do. I'm going to try and get this refinery built. And then I'm going to try and get uh, the thing. But I'm actually going to read up first and find out if the, if the level 5 refinery or the tier 5 refinery... If it actually does give you more resources, because if it doesn't, it's not going to be worth my time to build it right now. It may be faster, um, and if it is faster, that's great, um, but it may not actually give me more uh, stuff, uh, which is really, in the end, what I really want. I want the stuff out of there. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit of digging on that. I'm going to build myself a little ramp here so that I don't have to jump over my connector. I can just go like this. Uh, and I'm going to park myself in my ship. And I'm going to uh, do a little bit of research. I'm going to end the episode here. It was a very short episode. This was sort of a catch-up episode. I wanted to explain where we were, why I changed the series. Just a little bit. The core of the series is still the same. I'm just sort of uh, accelerating my plans for building this big ship. Um, I'm not building my own ship. I know some people are really good at that. I'm just not good at that. That's not my forte. So I'm going to use a blueprint of a ship that I think is just awesome. Uh, so if you're wondering what this blueprint is, uh, let me show you. It is called the Timberwolf. Okay, it's this here. 
Uh, so it's made by Eclipse the Wolf, and it is a no mods, decorative DLCs included. Uh, it's a destroyer, I guess, an escort, light spur, patrol, exploration, survival ready, yes, environment, all. Um, so yeah, it is awesome. It's such a good ship. Just the layout of it is really well done. The way that they have a CIC is really good. The way that they have all of their automatic LCDs and, you know, the inventory LCDs telling you what's, you know, wh what you've got on the ship and what you might need. I think it's really, really well done. So props to the author of this ship. It is really good. Um, I have tested dozens of these. I have uh, been in my test world, spawned them in, played with them. Um, and this is the best. It's also got a good cargo area that I can put a miner in, which will help when I need to go and mine a little bit of resources uh, to do stuff like I want to do. Uh, it, you know, upgrading the ship will be sort of the uh, the main purpose of this playthrough from here on out. So it'll be making sure that we get all tier 5 components on everything, or even tier 6 or tier 7. Um, you can only build the tier 6 and 7 uh, components. You can only actually salvage them off of ships. Um, so we'll be needing to use this ship to do a little bit of pirating probably, um, but uh, that's okay. It will be fairly well kitted out for that. So moving forward, this is the goal of the ship is to um, kit this out with the entire, you know, tier five set of components. And, and to do that, we're going to be exploring a little bit. We'll be using the jump drives. We'll be jumping around from planet to planet. Uh, we will be going down into atmospheres and, you know, hopping on some ice and doing some mining in the ice and setting up little hydrogen outposts and things like that. So we're not going to just, you know, go from asteroid to asteroid and just pluck all the resources out that we need to go to tier five and do it that way. That's sort of the boring shortcut way. I want to do it a little bit more of the long way. Go to different uh, biomes and different planets, uh, get different resources, uh, set out outposts. I'm hoping to figure out some... Uh, auto mining scripts some of the like pams or or those type of things so that we can do a little bit of auto mining we can leave some drones down on planet surfaces and out in asteroids and just let them get resources for us and then use our ship as sort of a pickup uh, ship to grab resources and bring them back to uh, hopefully some sort of main base that we build in the future anyway so Lots to do. This should be a really exciting series from here on in. It was a sort of in slow mode the first 10 episodes because it was just really hard to get going. Uh, we lost our ship several times. The AI was just a little bit too difficult for my comfort level. I'm just not a PvP or a, a combat-focused space engineer. That's just really not been what I've uh, been doing. I do enjoy it. I think it's fun, um, but I sort of jumped in a little bit too deep, I think, the in my first little waiting and I needed uh, I needed a little backup, so that's what that's what the last few days have been doing. Um, you'll notice that we have had uploads on YouTube every day, but if you're on Twitch, you'll notice that I haven't been streaming in the last few days, and that's because it's taken me forever, like eight hours plus, you know, split over the last couple of days, uh, to build everything here, to gather resources, to build all of the. Uh, all of the welders out there are tier three welders. Um, I had a massive amount of tier three motors left over after I was doing the tiering, and I just decided I was going to do tier three motors. So that took a while. Welding everything took a while. I needed to weld all of those steel plates up that go off to the end of the spaceship because the last thing I want is some drone coming through and just, you know, destroying one of those steel plates and wrecking this whole thing. That would have been uh, pretty much a disaster, especially once I, I had already started welding this ship. So, uh, hoping I never have to go through that knock on wood. Anyway, guys, it's uh, been my pleasure to catch you up with this series. Now we have a definitive goal moving forward. It is pretty much the same goal we had before, uh, but now the goal is also including tearing up this ship up to tier 5, everything, thrusters, weapons, um, maybe not the armor, because you can get like some pretty, you know, heavy armor. Um, I'm not going to probably try and reskin the whole ship in tier 5 armor or anything like that but the major components i'd like to uh do my best to tear up so that's what we're going to be doing i appreciate everybody coming out saying hi i've ha had some comments on youtube and some people dming me in our discord and things like that so if you'd like to have a chat we are at questlinehero.com we are at youtube slash uh, youtube.com slash questline hero and we are also on uh, twitch as you can see here at twitch tv slash questline hero Thanks very much, guys. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend. Uh, it's Friday night here, so um, by the time you watch this, it'll probably be Saturday morning, maybe. And I'm hoping you guys have a fantastic time. So that's it for me. Have a good one. We'll talk to you soon.